going to take a little bit of time to teach you how to use your TI Inspire cast to solve a linear system. And I took this problem out of a chemistry book and it says, uh, gave me a table of compounds and formulas and their atomic weights. And the compound methane, which has a formula of CH4, has an atomic weight of 16, and glycerol has an atomic formula, I'm sorry, has a formula of C3H8O3 with an atomic weight of 92. And of course, water is H2O with an atomic weight of 18. And our test today, uh, and this is going to be quick and, and actually really easy, and it's a really cool thing to know how to do, which is to find the atomic weights of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, the individual atomic weights. So we're going to let C equal carbon, uh, C, H, and O be the atomic weights of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, respectively, if you don't mind. And this is where it's going to get easy. Uh, this is the first thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to set up this equation. So let's just set up equation. This is going to be quick, so hang in there with me. Set up equation. Equations, if you want, right? So if you look at it, we have, right, we have C. I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm working from methane. I have C plus, so oh, sorry, C plus. It says we have four hydrogens, so four hydrogens plus. Now, I want to put a zero here, you guys, but I'm not going to put the zero because I'm afraid it's going to get confused with oxygen, and it's, it's not. So I'm going to leave it blank, if you don't mind. Leave it blank. I'm going to go out to here. I'm going to put, e sorry, is equal to an atomic weight of 16. Right? So all I did was take methane and I turned it into a formula. We have one carbon, four hydrogens, plus no oxygens to give us methane, and it has an atomic weight of that. And then what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to set up the next one. And I'm going to say, in this case, I'm going to say that 3C, right? Again, I'm, I'm here, right? Plus what? Plus, good, 8H plus 3 oxygen, right? Not 30, but oxygen equals 92. Say that in your head. Maybe we should re uh, should reassign this O here to something else to stand for oxygen. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but th that's where we are. And then on the last one, we have, right, we have nothing, right? No carbons. It's important because we're going to make a matrix, and it's important their positions are important. And we have two hydrogens, right? So two hydrogens plus a single oxygen, don't we? So, right, is equal to, and has an atomic weight of 18. Okay, so hopefully now what you're going to see is where I'm getting all this crap from because I'm going to turn this into a matrix. So now, right, create matrices. So I'm going to create these two matrices. The two matrices I'm going to create are these. Uh, most people try to do this using Kramer's rule, but why, why would you bother? So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to set my first matrix up, and I'm going to set it up as the matrix. So I'm going to go here on my calculator, set it up as the matrix. Right? One, four, zero. So one, four, zero. Right, one carbon, four hydrogens, no oxygens. Next one is going to be the, it's going to be three, eight, one, isn't it? Oh, how stupid are you? Yeah, three. Sorry, three, eight, three. Right. I'm gonna go back down here. I'm gonna do this last matrix, and it is going to be the matrix zero, two, one, isn't it? So, zero carbons, two hydrogens, one oxygen. Right? So I'm going to, that's, that's what I'm going to be working with. And then the other matrix is going to be this one by three, isn't it? It's going to have this one by three matrix here. So I'm going to make it a, uh, sorry, three by one, right? Three by one matrix here. And that is going to be 16, 92, 18, right? 16, 92, and 18. So on the left-hand side of the equal sign, that's one matrix here. On the right-hand side, it's going to be right here. And I want you to remember that it goes carbon is in the first row, hydrogen, then oxygen, right? So all of this crap and explanation has been the hardest part of this because all we have to do now is actually, you know, I'm going to see if I can't do that. You know, okay. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to take this. I'm going to go to my calculator. You would go here. You'd go control page down, and it would bring you there. Me, I'm going to go here. 
you don't mind. And then I'm just going to set those matrices up again really quickly. And this is, we're almost at the answer. So we knew we had a three by three to start with, didn't we? We have a three by three. And it was that matrix that was one, four, zero, three, eight, three. So one, four, zero, right? Three, eight, three. Don't leave me. Oh, you suck. All right, so three, eight, three, right? I'm just getting that from the first one. And the last one was the matrix, was the line zero, two, one. So zero, two, one, right? Here's where it gets a little bit uh, interesting here. I want to invert this matrix because I want to solve for what those values had to be. So all you have to do is this, go to the outside of the matrix and hit this sign here, which it gives you an exponent, and put an exponent of negative one, right? That inverts it, doesn't it? Right? Times, and now I want a one by three matrix, right? Remember the matrix that we just had, that was the matrix 16, 92, 18, and we're gonna put that in right here. So we're gonna write here, put it in. Remember that three by one here, didn't we? Just hit enter. And it was 16, 92, 18. So 16, 92, 18. I did this problem a little bit earlier. I got it wrong the first time. And this is what I'm finding that it's, it's really worthwhile to take an extra second and make sure you have it the way you want it. So as I'm talking to you, I'm checking my matrices. Okay. Now, I also want you to remember that, that here, this is carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, right? All these are carbon. All these are hydrogen. All these are oxygen. So one two, three, so carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, okay? So hit enter. Now, what we get from that, remember, we knew that the first value here is carbon. That's this, they're solving, that's solving for this. The second thing, the second column here is hydrogen. That's this value here. The last column here is oxygen, and that gives you this. So what do we get from this? We know that the atomic weight of carbon is 12. The atomic weight of Hydrogen is 1, and the atomic weight of oxygen is 16. Love to hear your comments on this. There are other ways that uh, we could have done this. Um, and I, if you have a better idea, let me know. It is possible that we could have, we could have saved. We could have, actually, let me show you this really quickly while you're here. You could do, the, do this, check this out. You could do this. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to do uh, Control-C, which is to copy something. Right, and then I'm going to put it here, control V, control V, repeats it, yeah. And then what I could do is I could say, uh, control store, I could name it A, right? I could take this one up here, oops, sorry, take this one here, oops, I could take this one here, control C, right, control V on the outside of that. Control store. I could save that as B if I wanted to. Right? And then I could do this. I could say A inverse. Times B. Maybe another way I could have done that. The same answer. Okay, you guys. All right. I really do hope this was helpful and uh, look forward to hearing your comments. Please subscribe.